Patrick's decided to strike for having to go at goal. He's in the centre of the goal. The other fellow's miles wide. He's not going to score, is he? <laughs> he, can't you say that. he can't finish like you. I used to hate managers that used to criticise you after the game. So I used to pet hate of mum. And they used to come in and say, so who scores the goals in this team? Anyway, that's another thing. Uh, West Brom generally, they've sort of fallen away a little bit recently, considering how well they were doing under Pulis for a while. Yeah, and uh, he will not be happy with the last kind of two games especially. That's seven goals they've conceded now in the last two games. Um, and that is not a Tony Pulis kind of like team. Um, and then four of the last games that they've got, uh, uh, sorry, in the league, are tough, tough games. I think they've got Chelsea, they've got Man United, Liverpool and Arsenal. Yeah. It could be a little bit of complacency. Uh, I'm not sure they've got enough points. We were talking about that earlier. I don't think they have, so they've got to get back to what they were good at, which isn't being hard to get, but being hard to beat. Another win should do it, I would have thought. Uh, Sunderland have only scored twice in the last seven games, but Jermaine Defoe's derby strike was certainly worth the wait. It gave Dick Advocat his first win. They entertained informed Crystal Palace and put a decisive dent in Manchester City's title hopes on Monday.